I had so much fun making today's video. It's a collaboration with Ace of Clay. If you don't know who he is, he makes amazing sculptures out of... That's right, Clay. In this video, I make an eight drawing turnaround of a character that he challenged me to make. And in his video, he's going to make that character out of clay, like a 3D character. It's going to be amazing and I can't wait to see it. That said, let's see what Ace of Clay is going to challenge me to make. <clears throat> All right, Casey Golden, let's do this. I'm gonna take you out of your comfort zone for a bit and we're gonna do a vampire. Man or woman, your choice. I'm always drawn to characters with really exaggerated features. Long legs and arms, disproportionate heads, that kind of thing. Think creepy but charming, scary but warm. Maybe they're misunderstood. I do wanna keep this pretty open-ended though and allow you to make it in your personal style and give it your golden touch. See what I did there? Can't wait to see what you come up with. See you on the other side. <coughs> What? Let's get to designing a character and creating our turnaround. I am so excited. Let's get into it. But before we get into it, I do want to explain to those of you who don't know what a turnaround is, what a turnaround is. Before you have your 3D object, and let's use this ant plushie for example, you need to start off with an idea, a 2D idea in your head. So starting off on paper, you need to think and draw what this character looks like from the front, three quarters, side, three quarters, back, three quarters, side, three quarters, and then back to the front again. So what you do, and this is going to be very crude and fast, from your imagination, you have to draw what this character is to give the 3D person or whoever is using this, this could just be used for character design, a better idea of what your designed character looks like. So this is what our character looks like from the front. From there, we would do the side view, the back view, and the other side view just to get the basics down. And then between that, we would have our three fourths view. Again, quick and crude drawings. And then for example, a three quarters view. The difference between something like a side view, a front view, and a three quarters view is that a side view, you kind of don't see things behind the ant plush. You don't see this arm back here. But once you hit a three quarters view, you can see that arm behind him kind of poking through, which I didn't draw. With that in mind, a uh, random eraser, let's get into designing our character today and doing a turnaround. Okay, so let's write down what we are going to be doing. So obviously we're going to be designing a vampire character with a few characteristics. Creepy, but charming. Or also scary, but warm. Basically, we want a misunderstood character. Let's not forget, we need that, the golden touch. Beautiful, so that is our list of things that we need for our character. By the way, because I know I'll be getting a lot of comments on this, if you need to know any of the tools I am using, it will be in the description. Right now I am using a 12.9 inch iPad and I am using Procreate, the app Procreate to draw on, and my Apple Pencil to draw with. So to be honest, usually when I think vampire, I think male character, but I was actually kind of thinking, what if we created a female character. I think we need more female vampires. There just aren't enough female vampires. So right away, I was actually thinking, what if we did like an old lady? Because once again, you don't see a lot of old vampires. They're usually young. So I just want to kind of get the basics of a character down and then maybe we can start exaggerating later. Okay, let's start off with a face. I'm kind of, I'm feeling all over the place. Let's just start off. Wait, are those her, wait. It's me, Grandma Vampire. Grandpire. <laughs> I'm old, but also a vampire. Oh wait, don't vampires usually have like pointy ears? Yeah, actually I think so. I'm not really going for a classic vampire look, but I do want to keep, I want it to look like a vampire <laughs> at least. <laughs> Grandma, what, what large head you have, oh my word. <laughs> maybe we could do a hairstyle that isn't so upwards, but maybe outwards. It's gonna be interesting putting my character design or like my head shape in 3D, cause I never really think my drawings have a good grasp on a 3D world. <laughs> Sometimes I just do what I think is nice and uh, don't really do what makes sense. Anyways, I wanted to design a grandma 
vampire because I thought it'd be really cute to have like chocolate chip cookies. Like she has a tray of chocolate chip cookies that she's trying to give to kids or her neighbors or something. But they're always scared to take her cookies because, and I will show you. So what she does is she takes little blops of icing to look like bite marks and has them run down. So she's like, ha, get it? Cause I'm a vampire? And it always freaks out her neighbors. So she's misunderstood. Also, can you even see that? Let me zoom in. There you go. There is our bite mark vampire cookie. Pretty cute, huh? What is this hair? What is this hair? Did I just give her a bowl cut? I don't know what's happening. What? But I like the idea of having her mouth area bigger so that I can make sure that her mouth is seen. I think we're getting somewhere. So grandmas, huh? Grandmas, am I right? So when you get older, your body kind of, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, I'm already, oh wow, look at her. Look how round she is. But also, look, old people, they're not blessed with like that good gravity. But then like, what's her body look like? What's her body really look like? Is she actually fat or does she just have, oh my gosh, no, I love, I love how thick her legs are. Wait, now I wanna show off those thick legs and get rid of the poofy dress. Oh gosh. Y'all, I am super invested in this thick, Vampire grandma, oh my gosh, look at her go. This grandma is scandalous, but like that's a vampire thing, right? I think maybe being a little sexy, right? I, I'm not really sure. You know how grandmas always wear like, like a cardigan? Maybe that could be where she's getting her, like her collar from? So let's see if we can't. She's a vampire, but she's also, she's still a grandma. I think I actually really like this. I think I just need to figure out, just, you know, get some details a little better and then also figure out a really fun pose for her. But we need to make her grounded so that Ace of Clay doesn't struggle too much. And a more simple pose just because a turnaround can be complicated if you, if you make it complicated. So I'm going to sit here and do some more additional sketches to figure her out a little bit. And then we'll get into the whole turnaround situation. So obviously when I got into more sketching, I had to draw her a little bat doggy. I love this little guy. He's adorable. Cause you know, vampires and bats. Anyways, so I got into trying to get a good pose. Like I mentioned, the pose really needed to have the character grounded so that poor Ace of Clay didn't have too much trouble with some character floating around. On one hand, I didn't want the pose to be stiff and boring and just stationary but once i ditched the cookie idea and got this iv in there which usually grounds people because if you have an iv you're not doing the best so in the end i did like her just standing there with the iv the cookie idea was fun and was grandma like but i think the blood iv thing was a little more clever for a vampire character because Procreate now has a GIF option and the iPad is so portable, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to not be stuck in my office drawing all day. So I am drawing on my couch with my cat because she won't be with me much longer. Now that that happy message is out of the way, let's talk about guidelines and just how important they are in keeping your character the same in proportion. Once I had the first illustration done, I was basically able to use this as a reference for the other seven illustrations. You wanna make sure that all of the, not only proportions, but placements of each key point of a character is in the same location. So you wanna make sure their head is the same size, the shoulders land in the same area, the feet are grounded in the same place, and something like their dress isn't getting shorter and longer throughout the gift. To do this, you simply add lines through your turnaround so you have these reference areas to place things like the head, the shoulders, the legs. Personally, I did not have enough reference points and I think that really held me back a little bit. So again, I am learning as I go for the future. I definitely could have used like twice as many reference points. So like I mentioned in the very quick turnaround tutorial that I had at the beginning of the video, I started off with a front facing position because it's just the most basic position to start off and it's easy to start there and then go to the sides, the back, and then the hardest parts, the three quarter poses. 
It wasn't until later that I realized that my front facing pose wasn't entirely front facing. And I feel like that kind of got in the way later because she's not entirely front facing. I was kind of missing that front facing position later. It got in the way a little bit, but because this is my very first turnaround, especially turnaround animated GIF, I'm going to let it slide. And in the future, when I do some original character turnarounds, I will definitely be more aware of these things and mistakes that I learned on the way. I think the easiest pose, of course, aside from the very first pose that you draw is the back pose. For the most part, you can probably just flip your character around and then erase the details you can't see and then draw on top of that silhouette. And if you were to draw your character symmetrical, you could also just flip them for the right and left pose as well. But me, being someone who just can't do things the easy way, had to draw this character not symmetrical. Design-wise, she's pretty much symmetrical, but her pose, on the other hand, is super not symmetrical. One hand is tucked inside her pocket, the other one has her hand wrapped around her staff IV thing, and then of course her legs aren't just standing straight down, she is leaning to the side a little bit, so that really put put a damper on my experience. I do love a good challenge. I had so much fun drawing this turnaround. And like I said, I cannot wait to do something like this for my original characters. Definitely want to do something like that in the future. But there were some definite struggles with the three quarters views. I also mentioned earlier that my illustrations don't normally make a whole lot of sense in a 3D world, and you will definitely see me struggle with that in this video. I did try my best to create something that was going to make sense, but I think my biggest struggle of all was her hair. And I knew going into this that was going to give Ace of Clay a struggle, so sorry buddy. I definitely could have made her buns much smaller, but I love to be ridiculous, and you did say to put exaggerations on her features. <laughs> So I know in my illustration, her buns and collar um, relationship don't really make a whole lot of sense. Sometimes the buns are going over her collar. Sometimes it's like, is the collar actually in front of the buns or is it behind the buns? Overall, I really donked that one up. So I think as a standalone illustration, it would have been fine to ignore physics, but this was a turnaround GIF, especially something that was going to be put into an actual 3D space. So probably should have been more aware of that. Aside from her hair struggles, I think the next hardest thing were her feet. I really exaggerated how long and slender her feet were. So when it came to foreshortening or just a straight on angle, it really, it was a struggle. And I don't think it looks too bad, but definitely looks like her feet are much shorter in some of those angles and it doesn't look like foreshortening at all. So it's definitely something that I need to work on. Something I did have fun with, but again, it is something that I struggled to put into a 3D space was the IV tubing. Every time I drew that IV tubing, I pretty much drew it in the same exact position. So when she twirls around, it just looks like it's in the same position when in reality, it is supposed to be a rotating 3D object. At one point I did try to get headphones and a pencil and wrap it around as if it were the tubing, but for some reason my stupid little brain just couldn't wrap itself around the way that it changes. And it doesn't look bad, it's just technically it doesn't make sense. That being said, I do think that the IV staff is my favorite part of this whole character design. The little bat is just so cute and something about the IV bag and that twirling tube is just really fun. Not to mention, of course, we do have a limited color palette, which is my jam. We have dark gray, light gray, red, white, and that's about it. I love it. Oh, and her old lady cardigan, I absolutely love it. I need something like this in my life. It is so cool. Is that it? Have I said everything? All right, let's look at the finished results. So this is our character rotating with an anchor on her body. So I centered everything around her torso. It looks okay. It's not bad. It it's, it's whatever. This, however, is her anchored by her staff. And I think because the staff was such a perfect candidate for being the same shape, I guess, as it rotated, it just looks so good rotating. And even though she's all over the place, I think it looks fine. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. So good job, me. And there we go. 
we have our turnaround gif of our vampire grandma, or as I was calling her, a grandpire. I think she turned out so well, especially for my first time. I just love the way I anchored her little staff thing instead of her body. I love her. I think she turned out so well. What do you guys think? Are you excited to see Ace of Clay's clay version? I am so excited. But first, let's see what Ace of Clay thinks of our little turnaround. I can see the thumbnail. Three, two, one. <laughs> Casey. All right, this is definitely not what I expected at all. I was expecting something way more traditional, like vampire, vampirist type of thing. My first impression of this is that I am extremely intimidated because I don't know how structurally sound I'll be able to make this and like make sure everything balances. So that's gonna be interesting, especially with the huge hair. But you know what? I'm up for a challenge and I told her not to be too easy on me. So she definitely delivered. He's got a challenge ahead of him. And that's it. That's my 3D turnaround character design of our grandpire lady. She was so much fun to make. I had so much fun making this turnaround. And Ace of Clay's version, oh my gosh, it is amazing. I have seen it now, and it's great. You have to go check out his video, links in the description. Go check out Ace of Clay to see what he does with my character. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay golden, bye.